Xiaomi is rolling out an update to the security and cleaner app in India. Let's have a look at what is new in this update. What's up peeps, Manchi here, back with another video. And one of my viewers, Nikhil, told me that Xiaomi is pushing out an update to the security and the cleaner application in India and that some permissions have in fact changed so I went into my system updater and as you can see I do have an update available for the security app the version is going from 4.1.4 to 4.2.5 and I am running MIUI 12 on my Redmi K20 Pro and this is the Indian build of MIUI 12 now before we update our applications let us first go into the permissions and check out what are the current permissions for this security application so these are the current permissions and just so that we do not forget these let us take a screenshot so three finger screenshot in the building and let us scroll as well and there it is the screenshot was saved let us save this one additional permission is access BLE settings so we will save this one as well so now we have saved the permissions for security another thing is that they have changed the privacy policy as well so let us take a screenshot of this text as well and we can go into the privacy policy also to see the last update date over here okay so here is the privacy policy it was updated on september 4th 2019 we'll just take another screenshot just to be safe and here is the cleaner applications no permissions have been allowed over here and now if we want to check out the version of cleaner application we will have to go through the recents so the version is 4.1.7 and let me just go ahead and agree over here we can also go into settings and we still have the option for definitions so we can now go into the system app updater and let us update all our applications so update all and then continue let us also check out the change log for the security right so they have fixed some known bugs and improved overall performance this is standard xiaomi change log for anything they do so all the apps have been updated let us now reboot our device once to make sure that all the changes which have been done by Xiaomi in the background kick in properly so we have booted back into MIUI and let us check the version of the security application and it is now 4.2.5 let us try the version of cleaner application to see if any changes have been made to the cleaner application so the version is still 4.1.7 let us open the cleaner application and we still have the definitions page which still mentions clean master let us open the security application and this page has been changed so we'll take another screenshot and we can go into the privacy policy as well so the date on the privacy policy is still the same which is september 4th 2019 let us open the permissions of security application and here are the app permissions huh oh my god have a look at that list it's gone like down from like almost nine to like four or five permissions let us go into additional permissions and yes access BLE settings was there earlier as well we can now open the gallery application and here are the new permissions for the security application so you have call log contacts SMS storage telephone the additional permission is again access BLE settings which was there in the previous version as well however what is interesting is that the list is now shrunk down so a lot of permissions from here are missing so calendar is gone location is gone microphone is gone physical activity is gone so four very important permissions have been removed another thing they have changed is the wording so on the old app they would say that for you to use the basic features of security xiaomi is going to collect process and use your personal data including information about the ways you use the security features blah 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 and please read our privacy policy have a look at the new message they're like to be able to detect security risks and protect your data we need to collect the necessary amount of information about your device so they've removed all the 
information and the word personal information and then they say read and agree to our privacy policy so i think they would have added those words in the privacy policy because no one reads the privacy policy and then they say that in case you do not allow to collect such information you will still be able to use this app but some features won't be available to you so you can clearly deny those permissions and still keep on using the security app hopefully but you know there is no way to change those permissions so i'm not sure what they mean by you can deny it you already have those permissions even without me clicking on grant authorization manu kumar jain if you are watching this video you came out with that open letter that all our data is stored in india and it is not shared with china i guess this is the reason you did not mention anything about the security application because this proves that you were taking permissions which you actually did not need and once techies like us started creating videos that is i guess when you got worried and you were like oh they might be up to something and we might be getting caught red handed over here i mean this is something which needs to be looked into by the government because this is clearly very shady and can you change these permissions now no you still cannot change the permissions but that list has gone down very significantly i mean you had access to location microphone physical activity and calendar for like no good reason then right and you can still open the security application let me tap on agree and i still see the same features i guess and i personally do not use this application a lot because in 2020 i don't think so any device needs a security application or a cleaner application but again it is good to see that when people raise their voices corporations do have to listen and even though they do not say anything about it in their open letter where they talk about that we can take legal action against people well the government should look into this and legal action should be taken against you in fact you are the one who needs to be held responsible for the actions of your company